On this episode of Heartbroke, Alejandra and Kevin have hit rock bottom financially. Right now we are living paycheck to paycheck, barely making it. How do you feel like as far as your mental health? Like a base level depression. Mental health has been like something I've always kind of struggled with. Can we help them find a way out of this downward spiral? I believe that you can both be very successful. Not without action though, not without change. Find out on Heartbroke. This is a show about love, money, and the difficult stuff that happens in between. We're giving couples a financial game plan to solve their challenges, but will they be able to make things work after six weeks? Or will the trial prove too testing? We've been dating close to 11 years now, yeah. We met in high school and we were both in theater together and debate. I can't imagine not having Ali in my life. I mean, he's like my best friend too, so it works out. Right now we are living paycheck to paycheck, barely making it. We're at the lowest I think we've been in years. Hopefully I'm gonna bring in $2,300 a month. I bring in about $2,000 on a month. My debt right now is $28,000 in defaulted student loans. And I have $5,000 in credit card debt. We have no savings, we're just paycheck to paycheck. We're excited to meet Misty because we want to figure out how to plan our finances because I think that's something that we lack. Hi, thank you guys so much for meeting with me today. I'd love to get to know you a little bit more personally and how I can hopefully help you out. So when I looked, it seemed like maybe last year, 45,000 went out, about 35,000 came in. How are things going right now with that? Um, not good. I we our rent just kind of doubled your rent pretty doubled. quickly okay. because our roommate moved out. It's pretty rough. Like we and then I had like been on food stamps, lost food stamps because now I'm making too much money for food stamps. Like this is like the brokest we've been in years, pretty much at this exact moment. Yeah. Like <laughs> gonna borrow money from my mom to pay February's rent. Yeah. You know? We're both like zeroing out. Yeah. So. Are you currently working or yeah, you... just freelance, I guess. I mean, like catering jobs and stuff. Some market research. Like I don't know. It's hard to describe like all kinds of random stuff yeah. like and then I, I guess I am training to kind of get into this editing job to like get consistent work weekly instead of having to look for it all the time. Right now I'm going into an office for to assist a photographer Monday through Wednesday. I'll work pretty much all day Thursday doing web management and then my weekends I'm also volunteering as a research assistant because I just like to do that so mm -hmm. my days are really busy. Being productive and being busy can be different because you can be very busy working on somebody else's projects or other things that's not necessarily helping you get towards your goals financially or business-wise, but what about um, the debt that you have right now? Both of you, you have student loan debts and then you have a you know small credit card debt. Uh, I'm kind of scared of it, honestly. Yeah. I get very afraid of getting into debt because it's scary to try to get out of it. This The student loan thing, I just, I mean, part of me is like holding out that like maybe they'll realize that student loans were kind of a a mess and maybe they'll give us some free, some forgiveness but you know I just I just don't even know it feels so over my head I just don't even know where to begin with it you're definitely not alone I think that student loans and financial stress in general has impacted a lot of people's mental health it's kind of hitting this generation very hard yeah <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to take the next step when you're like just trying to stay afloat sort of yeah, yeah. definitely So it was really nice to get to know both of you. You could tell you've known each other for a really long time. Yeah. How do you feel like as far as your mental health right now? I mean, I feel like I kind of live with like a base level depression. You know, it's never been like debilitating, but it's kind of always there. I sort of like don't want to let that get the better of me. Mm -hmm. With the editing job that you were talking about before, is that a little bit more consistent income where you can predict what that would pay? You know, the goal is they pay is like 400 per project and I, I would be hoping to get like one or two projects per week. If I if I can get that, that would be great. That's what I'm hoping. But right now we're both sort of like, I'll take anything I can get because we just need to like get out of this. You want to like, get out of where you're at right now. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Alejandra. Hi. Thank you for coming back to speak with me. Yeah, of course. How do you feel your health is right now? Mental health has been like something I've always kind of struggled with and that's kind of hard because I like 
have not been able to afford like therapy, medication, not being able to afford that is like, that sucks. Cause I was going to therapy. I was on like antidepressants. I was doing all this stuff to like really help myself. And then all of a sudden it was just taken away cause I had no healthcare. It's hard when your healthcare is tied to your career or your yeah. income. The skills that you have, the, the copywriting, the websites, email marketing, um, it's a pretty lucrative business. Yeah, yeah. Do you set your rates or do they tell you what they'll pay you? Uh, I, I guess I just like don't really know what I'm actually like worth. Like in my head, I'm like lucky to make, you know, any money. Like, mm -hmm. oh cool, someone actually like trusts me. Charging a fair rate for what I do is, it is really hard for me, I'm realizing, yeah. Thank you so much for letting me spend the day with you. It was so nice to get to know both of you better. I believe that you can both be very successful. I think the futures that you've described are very possible. Not without action though, not without change. First, I'll start with you, Alejandra. I think it's really important that you find out how much you should be getting paid for the work that you know how to do. There's websites now that are out there that specifically will tell you what the rates are for the skills that you have in that particular city or zip code. I struggle with that not only like from like a self-worth perspective, but I also can't double the price overnight on them. I think what you could say is that you love working with them and that you are changing your prices as of a certain date. And then as you bring on new clients, you have your set rates. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, there's a few things that I think are really important for you to do as soon as possible. Getting the student loans out of default is super important. If there is any opportunity for loan forgiveness, your loans have to be in good standing. And so even if you're making a small amount of payments, that puts you in a path where at least it's in good standing. For both of you, short term, you might wanna look at getting a new roommate. I think for right now, it might help you be a little bit more secure and not have to borrow from family. It could be very easy to stay in the exact same position that you're in right now. I think getting a plan and a strategy in place can be really helpful for you. You'll reach your goals. Sound good? Yeah. All right, thank you, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. I think I'm more hopeful. I, I, I see a way out. This will be as bad as it gets for us, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. So yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm hopeful about the next couple of months. It's so good to see you both again. How have you been? Better? A lot better? Yeah, 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 doing better now. So what's going on since we last met? Any changes? Uh, we have a roommate. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the roommate is my sister, so that's good. Okay. All of our expenses are split. You know, internet, utilities, rent is all split three ways now instead of two, so that's a huge relief. I definitely asked for more money, which is good. How did that go? Well, I feel like it was well received actually. Like all my clients were like, yeah, that makes sense. It's, okay. been, it's about time. Kind of like reframed the way I was thinking about things. I was like, oh, I am valuable. You yeah. know, like I'm good at my job and I should be charging the amount that I'm worth and I should think of myself as skilled. They're probably gonna understand that going to find somebody brand new is gonna cost brand them money new. as well. So I think it's really great progress. It's a huge deal. And how about you, Kevin? How are things going for you? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we both kind of got out of the like slump. The job immediately that was gonna be like a lifeline for me didn't pan out, but ultimately like we ended up getting more set referrals and sort of like just busy with other stuff anyway, that there's been plenty of stuff to do, so. I think you're looking at it the right way. Like nobody really needs to know like how the whole project turned out. All of these things that you're learning is an investment in yourself. And I did finally sort of get around to talking with uh, the department, the US Department of Education and stuff kind of learned like the path forward for getting my loan out of default and in good standing. <laughs> now that I'm using only my own financial information, I qualify for like five bucks a month. Yeah. So all I gotta do is pay like five bucks a month for nine months and I'll be in good standing. You went to the right resource and you figured it out. And so I'm really proud of you for making that stuff. It's, it's going Thanks. to pay off so much. You're making some money, you have some, you know, positive momentum. How has that felt, you know, as far as your mental health? Better, I think it's, yeah, it's easier to be more positive when you're not like just scraping by, you know? Are you able to save some money now that you've gotten to this point? Yeah, I think actually this was the first month that I was like, oh, I should put some in my savings, actually. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do that. Mm -hmm. I recommend a high yield savings account. That's a good place to kind of have the money that you're not looking to use right now, kind of there for the future. I think you want to at least get to a few months worth of savings. Three months is a good start. 
Ultimately, for self-employed people, six to 12 is really where you want to actually get to with your basic expenses. Great information, honestly. That's really helpful. Oh, good. I mean, you guys have made such progress. I mean, you have a roommate. <laughs> You've got your bills under control. You're making more money. You asked for more money. You're getting your loans back into a good standing. Like, you've made it through a really tough time. It is scary. Money is scary, but it's not, it's not like the scariest thing. Well, I'm so happy that we were able to talk again. I'm really excited to see what you guys do with the future. If you need any help, please reach out to me. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. she's, she's a great financial advisor. She really saw us where we were at, and I, I really appreciate her for that. Yeah, the whole experience has been really motivating. So aside from just practical advice, it's been a great self-esteem boost and helped us kind of gain a little bit of confidence. Yeah, I like the way she put like, you know, you're thinking about the past, you're thinking about the present, let's start thinking about the future. 